Alright guys, I have high case reviews and I'll be showing you how to jailbreak your second generation iPod Touch, the untethered version. Uh, what untethered means is that you can restart your iPod. It's it just been released lately. My bad. So I had to move the tripod. Hold on. It's just been released lately, so it's new. Just to let you know, it is the iPod Touch second generation. I'm in factory settings right now. I just restored my iPod from the Ted version. So the program we're gonna use is called Quick Freedom. Alright, yeah. Quick freedom. So let's start the jailbreak. Welcome to Quick Freedom version 1.1 untethered jailbreak. iPod Touch second generation. Click it. Alright, and then I'll send you in. Let me put this up first. Alright, I, I gotta get my headphones on so I can see it. Let's watch this lovely screen right here. Alright, I'm putting my headphones on. Well, you guys will hear beeps, but you won't because I got it. My head. These speakers don't work apparently, so let's go. Uh, what you wanna do is take your iPod. Is take your iPod touch. Alright. Press the um power um the sleep wake button and the home button for ten seconds and then you're gonna release the sleep wake button and then keep holding the home button for another ten seconds. You will hear chirps for indicating that you did it correctly, so let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. I did hear a beep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, that's thirteen. All right, it is in DFU mode, as you may think. It is bricked, but it is not. So. Let's get started with this jailbreaking process. Alright, your, your iTunes will pop up saying that iTunes has detected an iPod recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used. Just ignore that. Press OK. Now go back to Quick Freedom. And over here, it will say Start Pre Jailbreak. So click that. And it's starting Pre Jailbreak. And your screen should be white. If you had it, you're screwed. So you must have did something wrong, but I think I didn't. So let's just. Alright, guys, it's iPod case reviews, and this will be the jailbreak for the iPod Touch second generation. It's This is the untethered version, so you can restart your iPod right now. It's just been rele released lately. So this should show you my volume rockers right here. Yeah. This is a full. I just restored it using uh, firmware, the 2.2.1. I recently used the tethered jailbreak. Uh, so, the program we're going to use is called, see if we can see that. It is called Quick Freedom. So, let's start the jailbreak right now. So, that's jailbreak. And you will need lib USB installer. You can install it right here and the original 2.2.1 firmware. If you already had it from the Tedward version, you wouldn't have it because it automatically finds it for you, so that's nice. But if you don't, but if you don't, if this is your first time, you can download it. So 
you meet all the requirements, press next to continue. Next. Alright. So, now it says to create your custom firmware, select if you want to include installer. Use boot logo and then use a custom boot logo and then press create firmware. Today, we're, I'm not going to use the custom boot logo because I heard there's like, you have to do a lot of stuff. So, let's mm, do it. Create firmware. And to create your custom firmware, select if you want to include installer, use the. Alright, we're reading this. This process may take 5 to 10 minutes to complete, so let's wait. I'm in two, no, no, that's one percent, uh, so I'll be back, white, watch the white screen, isn't it beautiful, isn't it beautiful, alright, I heard a click, iTunes had detected it, and you must export this iPod before it can be used with iTunes, alright, the iPod is placed into recovery mode, yeah, you guys, having a white screen is so nice. You think, and you're gonna go to heaven. Always. Oh my god. I'll tell you when this is done. I don't like waiting. Alright, we are back. Alright guys, it's done. Well, this is my second try time trying, cause it took 20 minutes and it still stayed white screen, but the, and then it just restarted. So I did all the process over again, and it, it, it took about nearly one minute. Well, not even one minute. So if you're having trouble, probably it's it's just gonna um, reboot. So just be patient. So now after you connect your drive pod into DFU mode. Start pre um, pre jailbreak. Please wait. iPod place into recovery mode. Applying patch. Applying mesh no patch. Please wait. Successfully put in jailbreak mode. So what you want to do is wait. Yeah. Restore button. You want to hit shift while clicking this. Hold shift and click. And then you can choose your directory. They actually say that they installed it on your desktop so if you didn't read that and they're dumb nah, not my fault all right so custom firmware oh it's that line custom firmware is right here so i click and it should be restored so let's just give this uh another 30 seconds i know it won't finish between those time so i will stop but let's give it this after extracting software is done. So, yeah. Alright, now it's preparing for uh, iPod to restore. So, just do it. Alright, be back. Alright, guys. So, it just finished. And I am setting up my iPod right now. It just finished. And it came... Nicely, CD installer. So let's test this out if this is really the untethered version. So let's begin. All right. Oh no. <laughs> All right. It's turning off. Don't you like that purple chair? Don't you? I'm joking. Alright, turn back on. Wait, wait, yeah, sorry. Uh -huh, yeah, I was pressing my button. So it's turning back on. Look into the light. Alright. <laughs> And there you go.
still city and installer. So thank you the dev team for making the untethered um the untethered jailbreak and thank you mm, I forget Danny or David for making the GUI the graphical user interface. So thanks again and see you later.